Hey guys, so I don't know if it's just been like my mood lately or what's going on, but I am in the mood to do very one and done kind of looks because I don't know, as I progress in my life and as I grow up, so to speak, because I'm not, I'm not grown. Um, I don't know, I've started to see the value in things that are quick, efficient, they don't waste time. I used to have time when I was in college to, and even high school when I was just a little younger, to just sit down and do my makeup and take an hour doing it. And I just find that that's not really the case anymore unless I'm doing my makeup, unless I'm doing my makeup on the weekend. And that's not very often that that happens. So I'm starting to see the value, like I said, in very streamlined, quick, things even when I'm going out because I'm usually leaving work at like say 5 we're meeting at let's say 8 39 I know it sounds like a lot but like 45 minute transit home and then you know you gotta shower you gotta do your hair you gotta do everything and then before you know it and then I live in a city where it takes forever to get anywhere make it like another 30 minutes to get to wherever you're going and that really cuts down your makeup time so I've really been, like I said, I want to show you ways to get that very polished and put together look without taking forever. I have kind of a look in mind, but we're just basically going to weigh it. So I'm going to start with this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And it's a tiny little one that came with a Sephora 500 point perk. So I'm just going to I'm dousing myself in it. And, son, can you not? I'm gonna do my eyes first because that's going to take the longest and it's also going to be the messiest. So, if you can excuse this glare, we're gonna work through this together. So, I'm gonna go in with this mauvey, mauvey, mauvey color right here. I'm gonna put that right on the crease. Okay, so I'm going to take that 239 and the wet eyeshadow and literally just pack it on. This is why it's so simple. If you want to go for high impact and minimum effort, especially this is a gorgeous like green and black base with gold, yellow, and green shimmer all throughout. And I'm also going to put that right underneath the eye. Do you see how it like instantly creates like a look? It's instantly a look. The reason I think I associate this with more sophisticated makeup looks is not necessarily because it is more sophisticated, classy, whatever you want to call it. It's just because I associated with really busy lifestyles and careers. So to me, there's something really chic about a woman getting home from work and doing this really simple makeup look that makes her look flawless and then heading out to dinner. Like to me, that's just goals. With eyeshadows like these, you really want to use them wet. So make sure that everything stays where you put it. Okay, so while that dries, because you don't want to start blending with a dry eyeshadow while your sparkly color is still wet, you really don't want to do that because it's going to make the matte shadow look all gross and icky. Going to apply some eyeliner. This is Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. It's like lacquer, but blacker. And I'm going to put this on the waterline. It's literally the most simple dramatic smoke yeah, you will. And I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is the 217. That is relatively clean. And I'm going to go over this edge here. Dried a little bit. Now we're going to add some drama. Literally, with the with a black eyeshadow, it doesn't really matter which one you use. 
I'm going to put that right in the socket. Now bringing it into the outer corner really, I'm just using it to create that bit of dimension. So I'm using the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue Primer. Take some concealer and conceal in key areas, such as this little bitch, little bitch, these bitches here, those bitches there. Mm. I'm gonna blend that shit out, I'm gonna blend it, I'm gonna blend it. So I think I'm going to start, like, maybe making face charts or something to come up with looks because the fact that I've been so busy with work kind of bleeds into lack of creativity because I haven't been really experimenting with my makeup in a really long time, which translates into very, very few ideas for videos. Concealing underneath your eyes is super important for this step. For this kind of makeup, I should say. Very important. My foundation of choice has lately been the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. It's actually really amazing. It's a lot better than higher end found like serum foundations that I've tried. It's very nice. Highly recommend it. It is on the more expensive side of drugstore, but I think it's worth it. Because yes, it is like a cushion Lumi serum type of foundation, but it sets and it gives you good coverage once you've done the majority of your concealing this one right here, which the glare is so helpful. Thank you, glare. I'm going to put that right on the inner corner. So right like that. I look so Green Lantern right now, it's not even funny. I'm going to work a little bit of this up here. I've been really into putting eye eyeshadow in that little curve of my eye and I don't know why but I really like it and the places that worry me the most honestly are like around my cheeks over here because that's where I you know like I answer phones and I just I touch my face a lot which I know I shouldn't but I do and that's usually where I break out because I keep touching my face and I keep pressing things up against it then I'm gonna take my favorite bronzer of all time that has been discontinued and will haunt me forever, MAC Delphic. And this part I always do looking at the viewfinder because how you do your makeup in real life does not translate on how, as to like how it looks on camera. So it's usually better to guide myself by how I look in the viewfinder than how I look in the mirror. Though yes, technically in real life I would use a little less bronzer. I'm going to use that eyeshadow as my highlight, that green one. So I'm going to take a MAC 168 and that green eyeshadow. It's really hard to get on a brush this big. Let's try that. kind of works. I have something that will work better though. This is my OCC Pigment in Jubilee. Very similar to Sugar Pills Lumi. It's like a white base with blue shift. It's really pretty and I'm going to use it to highlight. Yes. Now that is what I'm here for. That green highlight? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Then I'm going to take Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. Actually, I actually like that, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to leave it at that with the lipstick because I really like that. And then I'm going to do some mascara and then we're done. God. So stressful. This is like way darker than it's showing up on camera right now. My lips look kind of big. Yes, I like this. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit rushed, but I really like how this turned out. I really like the whole look. I like the green highlight. I like how easy and quick it is. You can do this like that. I did it in 20 minutes, so you can do it even faster, I'm sure. You can do it way better. And then the lip liner is going to stay on forever. Amazing. I really like it. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit. So you can see what this looks like up close. This is my Walmart eyebrow. Please excuse it. Do you see my bald patch? Like right fucking here. I'm so upset. That was my stomach. I'm hungry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really like this video. I'm going to link all of my social media down in the description bar so you can go follow me and leave suggestions or, or just nose around in my life. That's fine too. I don't care. And I'll see you next time. Bye.